Hello ladies and gents, I am Jalen Renee and I'm back today with another video. My ancestors told me to go ahead and slay Juneteenth, so this is what we about to do. <laughs> So, um, my brows are one of those things that is not black owned or black collab today, so I definitely need to work on that. So guys, I switched my skincare up. It is now a black owned company. I have only been using it for a week now, but I'm gonna say my skin has taken to it very, very well. I will have the link to the website in the description box. But yeah, guys, I'm just starting to use it and I like it so far. So for today, I'm gonna be using the Patricia Brights um, and Makeup Revolution collab. Guys, this is so bomb. And yes, this is this footage is from another video that I recorded that has not went live yet. But that's how much I've been playing in this palette. I absolutely love this palette. The color range is amazing. I did not have a palette with this much color range. So I'm so, so, so happy that I picked this up. So I'm just taking some swatches here. This was actually the first time I had used the palette. My palette broke and I'll explain that in the video when it goes live, but yeah. So first I'm taking the shadow Queen and I'm applying it for a transition shade. quality of this palette is absolutely amazing. I was not expecting these shadows to be so blendable. Honestly, I'm just being honest. It's so good. So now I'm taking what I would call one of my favorite shadows in the palette and that is All Spice. This is like a nice reddish brown shade. I absolutely love it. Miss Tropicana and I'm just sweeping that um, more on my lid than in the crease I definitely wanted this color to pop out I also did mix some of the yes peaches in with this just to make it pop the way I wanted it to I was wanting to do like a fiery reddish tone eye Now I'm taking flames and I'm placing that directly on the inner corner of my eye. Now um, the video that is not live yet is extremely similar to this eye, but it is different as well. So I'm going to go ahead and still make that video live. I'll probably do it sometime next week. So now I'm just cleaning up and filling in anywhere I feel that is necessary. I'm also taking Queen on a fluffier brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend the top of my eye out so everything looks nice and seamless. So now that I'm watching my brows, my wing liner and my mascara are not black owned, so I definitely need to work on getting something that is black owned. Now these lashes, I did pick them up from a black owned beauty supply store. I will have the style listed down below in the description box. And I'm gonna go ahead and get into the face. So I'm going in with the Fenty Loose Setting Powder. 
um, I will have the exact color listed below because I don't have it in front of me right now. So I'm spraying my beauty blender with some setting spray and I'm going in with my Juvia's Place foundation. Again, I will have my exact shade listed down below in the description box. Guys, I honestly think that this is my favorite foundation. Seriously, the lightweight, the full coverage is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer. Of course, I'm using the Juvia's Place number 11 and number 14. I'm putting the lightest one on top of the, the darkest one. And I'm of course going to blend that out. I'm gonna set my concealer with my Juvia's Place Loose Setting Powder. I will definitely have the color in the description box. I feel like I've said that multiple times. <laughs> um, just because I don't have the actual color or anything like that right in front of me as I'm editing this. But again, it is down below in the description box. And I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer just to bronze up my face. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and highlight with my Juvia's Place um, loose highlight. I love this highlight. Um, I'm not really like a stickler for highlighters. I guess, I mean, I do it often, but I'm not really like too specific with highlighters I don't know why I guess it's just not my thing <laughs> so I am lining my lips with NYX downtown beauty you guys know that's my favorite and I'm going in with this red lipstick um, I'm not gonna say the brand because it's not black owned and I'm not happy with them right now but yeah this is the final look I hope you all enjoy your Juneteenth. If you don't do anything today, make sure you educate yourself, know history, and know what really went down, okay? I hope you ladies and gents enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.